so much. The budget deadline is less than a month away. Mayor Bloomberg's latest proposal is calling for big cuts. The city's youngest residents may stand to lose the most. I need some a place to be when my mom's at work, and I really need this after school because I need to get my homework done. Nine-year-old Jaden Cortez is fighting to keep his after-school program open, and he's not alone. I'm really disappointed. It also helps so that my dad can um, he can continue working. These kids are among 47,000 New York City children at risk of losing their after-school program due to budget cuts. Mayor Bloomberg's latest proposal calls for $170 million to be slashed from child care and after school budgets, which leaves parents facing a real tough choice. It's on everybody's mind. I mean, we have to figure out options of either babysitting or changing work schedules. The Education Alliance on the East Side Housing Settlement runs several after school programs on the Lower East Side and in the South Bronx. And these cuts would be especially tough, they say, on single parents. I would have to quit my job because I don't have no other relatives that's nearby to come pick him up from school. If parents can't work, if ca parents can't be there, they're going to need to be subsidized in other ways. Programs in some of the city's poorest neighborhoods won't get funding if at least $80 million isn't restored to the budget. All right, joining us this morning to talk about this and other issues impacting New York City school students is Chancellor Dennis Walcott. So nice to have you here Good this morning. morning. It's a pleasure to be here this morning. So let's talk about the cuts that are affecting the after school programs. What would you like to say to parents here? Well, I mean, one of the things that Mayor said in the presentation of the executive budget, he believes in after school programs. Right. And we're going to be talking to the City Council. I know ongoing discussions are taking place with the City Council and members of the administration on how we restore the cuts. Uh, it's our goal, but at the same time, we have to work it out with the City Council. You're saying something there that's restored store the cuts because for a lot of single parents and people who are in the good fight every day this is something that's a lifeline for them to have these after school programs. It's an important service and we realize that but at the same time we have to work with the city council to see how we put those cuts back in place and as I testified yesterday at the city council that's part of the discussion that's taking place right. But now. I thought the situation was going to be a brighter fiscal picture considering that you know Albany gave a little bit more money this year that the cuts well, weren't going to be. Well not in reality. I mean okay. Albany gave some money but we still t face tough fiscal times and we have to balance our budget and so the mayor and the city council speaker and the city council have done a very good job over the last nine to ten years in balancing the budget and coming up with a deal by the end of June and so by the end of the June period of time we'll know what's going on.